Hi, welcome back everybody, it's Mike Newton down here at Lytham Golf Academy, We've got a new product for you and it's from Callaway now and it's the Maverick range of woods. So this particular video I'm going to concentrate more on the standard Maverick which is a little bit of a different shape so there's a few things to sort of talk about here. We've got some slight different technology again we're going to cover all that in this particular video. We've got GC quad on the floor as always so we're going to measure some data and obviously give you some feedback and my personal thoughts of the new Callaway driver. Okay, so the, we've got now got three heads uh, with the Maverick. We've got the Maverick standard head, which I'm going to focus on today, which is a little bit of a different shape. We've got the Sub Zero, which is a little bit more of a traditional shaping, a bit more low spin option for those maybe faster club head speed who's trying to get a bit of spin down. And then we've got a Max version, which is a little bit more sort of slightly bigger, more forgiving, a little bit more draw biased. But as I say, this particular video is going to really hit uh, the standard Maverick, which I think is going to be the bigger sort of seller out of the three options there and I'll concentrate on the other two in maybe in a separate video. Okay so what's happening in the Maverick so as I say slightly different shape and the first thing that sort of stands out here now is the back section of the driver sort of come it gets lifted up quite early compared to the other ones I'll put a little clip up comparing it to the Sub-Zero and the Max a little bit of a different shape so it's all about aerodynamics which is a big theme across all the manufacturers I think for 2020 is trying to get that club head to travel as fast as possible through that air into that impact position obviously to max your club head speed potentially then maxing your ball speed so obviously that's to do with aerodynamics we've got a weighted fixed screw in the back section we've got jailbreak that we've seen in previous models which i think is is a good addition there i think it just just creates that stability to between that sole and that crown putting a bit more energy back into the golf ball definitely saw that when it first came out in the original epic we saw a little bit of uptake on ball speed there against other uh, drivers on the market obviously last year was a big talking point was flash face you know computer intelligent artificial intelligence through a super computer design his face it's got like ripples on the back section of the club face so it's creating speed basically across the entire flight entire face what they've done on this maverick range now is the faces are different between each of those drivers so sub-zero the standard maverick and then the max have got different faces on each of ones so it's all trying to aim at a certain golfer who is going to maybe miss the strikes in certain areas it's creating more consistency of that ball speed Okay, let's get underway. Let's hit some shots. So just presenting that down by the golf ball, it's a typical Callaway driver look. It's not nothing massively different from, from the Epic and the, uh, and the Flash. It's, it, you know it's a Callaway driver when you put that down, the shaping of it. We've got that carbon effect, as, we, as we'd expect uh, to sort of see. Obviously, the colouring now is orange on the underneath. You know, some of you won't like that, some of you will. Again, that doesn't bother me. That's the underneath of the driver. I'm not really interested in what it looks massively like on the underneath the driver. I'm more bothered about the top section. We've got a lovely carbon gloss finish, a little bit of that orange lipstick just on those three edges around the back section, and that's it. That's all the only orange you'll see from that uh, address position. So just ability again in the next sleeve. This is actually a ten and a half head, so I've lofted this down to nine point five, which is a bit nearer to my uh, particular loft. And again, it does sit lovely behind that golf ball. Okay, let's get this first one hit. Okay, little bit healy. Now, unfortunately, I've not got ball flight. I've had a bit of a technical issues with my TV, so it's not actually uh, playing, unfortunately. So I can't show you ball flight in this particular video, but I've obviously got numbers. I've got it on my iPad, so I'm going to show you numbers as I would always do. So a little bit of heel strike. That one flew very, very straight. Felt pretty solid, even though it was a slight miss hit. The sound was really good. That was a nice strike. A little bit higher ball flight through that better strike there. And that uh, club head speed 117. So this is probably the number we need to be sort of looking at here, you know, with the design of the head, that Callaway is saying definitely more aerodynamic, you pick it up more club head speed. That gave me 117 mile an hour, which fast for me, 163 ball speed. Just spun up a little bit there, so just over 3,000 on the spin on that particular shot. That's a nicer strike, a little bit of a right to left shape on that. Lovely ball flight though, again, 117 club head speed. Struck a touch higher in the face on that one, so I expect that spin to come down. Yeah, around that two and a half thousand area that carried out at 285, 165 ball speed. Again, love, great sound to that. Very solid sound in golf club. Um, 118 club head speed, a little bit faster on that particular one. 
and that got a 284 167 ball speed so creating some good speed there you know typically you driver i'm generally around 114 115 so getting up to that 117 118 is good it's going to be interesting to test that against maybe flash that video will be coming and maybe test against other products uh, that have been launched for 2020 that are claiming on sort of aerodynamics it'd be really interesting to get to those videos and start comparing these side by side so as i say i think the maverick when you look at it at the bottom for me personally again the bottom doesn't really matter too much but i think just sat there it just looks a bit i don't know a bit plain you know just those lines on there just the word maverick i've got a weighted screw got jailbreak but just looks a little bit sort of plain in a way in my eyes but again it's it, the bottom isn't really sort of i'm not massively interested in the bottom again just one next sleeve that we've seen there got that carbon there which i think is it, the sound is absolutely on the button for me you know it's just muted it's solid it's a great sounding golf club and it sits great behind the golf but it's just a very it's a very callaway looking driver as you'd expect you won't want to change that too much because i think they always make good shaped heads and you know we've got a bit of a funky back section here but you don't really sort of see that down by the golf ball obviously maybe what you do see is just that back edge of the club just sat a little bit higher off the ground than maybe what you would see in a normal driver but again my eye isn't really looking at the back edge of the driver i'm looking more at the front of the driver head and at the back of the golf ball super sound really good sound on that love the feel of that again 118 club head speed so producing some really good speed okay so let's have a look, look at the numbers with the maverick there so sh shot dispersion pattern there a couple just drawing up that left hand side a fraction you can see that one that's leaked out a little bit short right was the first one i hit a little bit in that heel section just lost a little bit of uh, juice on that particular shot uh, look at the strike patterns there you can see pretty tight strike pattern there's that heel one that i, I caught which was the first one so quite a nice sort of tight sort of strike pattern we're seeing on the club face moving into the sort of club data so obviously the important one we're looking at here maybe the claims that Callaway are making is the club head speed and 117.5 on average there you can see the last few getting up to that 118 so that's pretty quick for me um, again as they produce the different strikes we'll just change the slightly different of the spin so looking at your ball data here you can see ball speed 163.7 peaking out at that 166.9 nearly 167 which is pretty quick for me launching 9.8 and spin average at 2788 just a couple of slight higher ones there uh, early ones in the 3000s maybe it was just my strike was a little bit lower in that club face obviously sub-zero might suit me a little bit better trying, trying to get that spin number down again i'm going to look at that in a separate video that could be a better option with moving that heavyweight a little bit more in that further forward position will give me a little bit more of that um lower spin sort of category so carry distance there 271 on average so just remember this is carry distance not total distance right okay guys so there we go there's the new maverick driver so a little bit of a different shape there working on some aerodynamics and gave me some pretty quick club head speed again the real tr tr test will be against maybe the flash is it giving me that extra ball speed uh, sorry club head speed and does that then translate more importantly into that ball speed and some extra yards obviously there's a lot of shaft options to go through next settings so i think my message to you as always is to go and get fit for these you've got three different heads loads of shaft options loads of next setting options sub-zero got movable weights so there's plenty to sort of go out and dial it in for your specific speed delivery and the shot shape maybe your trying to sort of work towards okay post comments down below let me know your thoughts on the new maverick drive is that something that would be on your radar to go and test for a new driver for possibly for 2020 love to hear your thoughts as always if you enjoy the content you haven't subscribed you know what to do just jump down on that subscribe button ring the bell while you're there so you get notifications of any future videos and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon